<laughs> hey, girl. Uh, you're in a hurry. Been looking for you. That's funny. I was looking for you. For me? Well, what on earth for? Oh, nothing much. What about you? Nothing much. What about you? Like I said, nothing much. Asshole. What was that? Fucking jerk! Ah. <laughs> Heard from Sue? Why, have you? Should I have? Have you? I have not. Oh, have you not? I have not! Why? <laughs> Carl, you seem a little bit on edge. To tell you the truth, Ed... Do you have anything to Ed, do with yes. Sue? Yes, and actually it does. <laughs> Is this another dramatic alteration you're going through? <laughs> Ed, could you let me speak here? Sure. No lies. Lies? Oh, you've been doing your fair share. How dare you? Oh, 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 see, see, you just lied. What? You said you'd let me speak. And now three seconds later, you cut me off right in the middle of a sentence. Carl, I oh, don't deny it. Don't deny it. Why do you? You lied to me. I trusted you. Don't I can't you. I can't you. <laughs> boxes on the trucks all day, but now I'm helping with the inventory. It's not the best paying job in the world, but I work hard and I'm slowly moving up. Most importantly, I'm happy. The first time in a long time I've actually been that way. The funny thing is, there's a small college nearby, and if I can get some sort of loan, I'm thinking of taking a couple classes next fall. 
Who knows, I may end up being a doctor someday. Wouldn't that go against expectations back in Wellington? How are things, things back, back home? home? I'm assuming you went on to, pe on to Gateway. Is everything you thought college would be? You know, you can be anything your heart desires, just as long as you have the confidence to go for it. Do you want to be a doctor too, or just a surgeon? Maybe we could open a practice together someday, after we've gone through 20 years of schooling. That means I'd have to move back to Wellington, doesn't it? Who knows, by that time I'll probably be old and gray anyway, ready to settle down. I do dream about that sometimes, though. Us, eventually reuniting and growing all together. And having everything in between. The house, the kids, the dog, whatever you want. But I know that can never happen. If distance doesn't keep us apart, our natures will. Never give you what you need. I can never give you what you deserve to have. And so I'm making a new life for myself now. I've got to follow through with that. Even if it does take me so far away from the only girl, the only thing I ever cared about. I just wrote this letter to let you know, let you know I'm doing okay and to say goodbye. Julie, if you never knew before, and for some reason you need to know now, let this letter say I love you forever. Had the wrong room. Sorry. I'm sorry to bother you again, but this is room two twenty five N. Two twenty five N. Well, the N. It means north. Oh, I'm sorry. I'll go. Sorry. You're in my room. See the N? You have an S. <laughs> This is a bit much, even for me. Hey! Love what you've done with the place. Fit strong with pastels for my taste. Nice. Hey, how'd you get your posters to hang on the wall? The concrete idea. I heard it was impossible. Whoa! What's wrong? Jeez. Hey. Don't cry. Can I help? Did I say something to upset you? What? 
poster mug. I see. It's all becoming clear now. I mean, <laughs> the posters. I used poster mug. Really? <laughs> yeah, <it works. laughs> yeah, so far. <laughs> Maybe we shouldn't talk about posters anymore. It's obviously far too disturbing for you. It's the room. I was so excited to get done. I'm in the wrong room. <laughs> I can't believe this. <laughs> Look, there's no reason for all this. We'll just... I'm so sorry. This is your room. I guess I misread the door. I don't know a single soul down here. I just kept my door shut and tried to make this place more like home. Like my old room. <laughs> I'm Scott. I don't know anyone down here either. I understand how you feel. Amy Johnson, Scott. Craig, Scott Craig. Oh. I'll help you repack. This is very embarrassing. Oh, don't worry. No one needs to know, really. You don't have to help me pack. What else would I do? Well, there's all of your stuff to unpack. That, that's true. There is that. Of course, you're in my room. <laughs> <laughs> Look, it's absolutely no trouble. I'd be happy to help. Tell you the truth, I'm just happy to know somebody's name down here. Amy! Amy. <laughs> I guess we can start with the bed. Great. So, what time did you get in? 10.30. Just a few hours after checking, huh? I was here at 8.30. It was a mess. So many people and parents. Guess I sort of missed the rush. What time did you get here? What time you got? It made no sense <coughs> for all 300 of us to try and check in at 8 a.m. I got a flat tire and her out. It's been a very interesting day. Understatement. Yeah. So, this is college. Not quite what I expected. Understatement. Can I ask you something? What? Well, <laughs> I've only been here about ten minutes. I have been up and down the hall a few times, however. I'm sorry about that. Just... No problem. Is it me, or does everyone seem to know everyone else on this floor except for us? See why I felt so out of place? It was all I could do to focus my attention. <laughs> Scott? Uh huh? We just met, and I'm very happy we did. Well, it's been my pleasure. What next? I I'd rather handle the underwear myself. Myself, I rather agree with you on that. Uh, if you want to get some of the boxes there. No, they're, they're in the closet. Right. So, where are you from? Jonesville. Jonesville, Jonesville High? Central. Mr. Williams. Psychology. He's my uncle. He's a really fun instructor. The reason I'm into psychology. Is that, is that your major? Might be right now, anyway. How about you? Art's my game. What medium, if I might ask? <laughs> <laughs> I like to draw. Can't paint, but about up to now, mostly drawing. <laughs> Some charcoal. I'd love to see your work sometime. <laughs> Checkers? First game I ever learned. First one I remember. I like checkers. Chess, backgammon. It was my grandfather who taught me. He never let me win. He never treated me like a child. And then he got older. I never let him lose. Did he ever tell you why they're red and black? Uh oh, why? Don't know. Always wondered. <laughs> Shit, my mom! Oh, sorry for the poop reference. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Surprised she hasn't called 80 times. Where's the phone? Not four! What? The phone, it's just my mom. She's a little. I know! <laughs> Amy, 
what's wrong. It's just my mom. I know. She called <laughs> four times. She was a little overbearing. Hysterical. Why by the fourth call, anyway. What'd you say? Amy, what's wrong? I told your mother she had the wrong room. I explained the phone numbers or my room number. And she's been calling the rest of the door. No. Room by room. No. By room. No. Yes. <laughs> Moving into my room was one thing. This is a whole new ballgame. You owe me. Think of it this way, Scott. You sort of know more people. They've already met your mother. <laughs> Very funny. Maybe I should calm down. How serious is this? Every room! Some twice if their number was similar to our number. I mean, your number. <laughs> this number. This is a very, oh, very, very serious offense. I'm sorry, Scott. You'll have to pay for this. But I, I, I've got it. Shut tonight. I, my room. Eight o'clock. No arguments. Oh. Not at all. <laughs> <laughs> now get out of here. I got work to do. Yes, sir. Tonight, checkers. Now, is that my place or yours? Out. Out. Two, two, five in. Right. I wouldn't want to get the wrong room. I'm going, I'm going. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 